Hi, I'm Kathleen Williams, a professor in the School of Animal Sciences, and I'd like to show you some of our facilities that we utilize for research and teaching for our students, faculty, and staff. Our farm units are located at the Central Research Station out at the Ben-Hur Research Farm. We have a horse unit that's home to about 100 horses, which we're able to utilize in our farm animal courses, laboratories, where our students can learn hands-on applications, as well as our, our graduate students and faculty conducting their research in physiology in equine. Our swine unit, we have a small herd of pigs that we keep out there for teaching, for our farm classes, for our students to learn animal handling and management practices, as well as for our meats facility that we'll cover in a little bit. Our small ruminant unit has about 50 to 60 sheep and goats, which we're able to utilize in our farm animal practices courses, our small ruminant production courses, as well as for sheep and goat research for our graduate students and faculty. Our beef cattle unit is home to crossbred and purebred beef cattle. We're able to utilize these animals for teaching purposes in our beef cattle management course, our large animal practicum courses, as well as research for our faculty and graduate students. Our feedlot facility is our one of our newest facilities that'll soon be completed. And this facility will, will allow us to house animals for research, as well as teaching, and also to conduct various courses for our extension professionals as well. At our multi-species facility, which used to be the swine unit, we're also able to conduct research this year we did a calf project with dairy calves from the Southeast Station and they were housed at the, the Central Station unit. Our poultry unit has broilers and layers and we're able to utilize these facilities for our, our poultry courses, our poultry judging team, as well as our research for our graduate students and faculty. Our Southeast Research Station dairy located in Franklinton, Louisiana is home to a herd of Holsteins, about 100, and our students are able to go over there and learn dairy management practices in the laboratory portions of our dairy courses. The milk from the Southeast Station Dairy is brought back to campus to our creamery and dairy store where we make ice cream and cheese and other dairy products for sale in our dairy store throughout the year. Our students are also able to learn dairy processing practices in the creamery. Our meats processing facility located in Francione Hall allows us to teach students the practical applications of meat processing and packaging and these products are sold in the dairy store as well. In our animal and food sciences laboratories building, we have our offices as well as numerous research laboratories in animal sciences for our faculty and staff to conduct their research as well as teaching hands-on laboratory practices in our courses for undergraduates as well as graduate students. Immunology lab focuses on infectious diseases of man and animals, especially brucellosis. The research includes bacteriology, immunology, and vaccinology in an attempt to detect and prevent infection and economic loss due to these diseases. They also work with the Department of Defense to train international scientists to work safely with infectious pathogens. Researchers in the nutrition lab work with ruminant and non-ruminant animals to improve production efficiency. Feed samples are analyzed for nutrient content, including moisture, protein, fiber, and minerals. Blood, rumen fluid, and other physiological samples are analyzed for metabolic parameters such as fatty acids, glucose, protein, and minerals. The reproductive physiology team conducts research aimed at increasing the efficiency and application of assisted reproductive techniques to livestock breeding, especially cattle. These techniques include in vitro embryo production, cryopreservation of oocytes and embryos, fertilization by intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ICSI, genomic analysis with embryo biopsies, and somatic cell nuclear transfer cloning. They're also working to understand the molecular basis of embryonic and early pregnancy loss. 
Physiology research focuses on equine physiology and endocrinology, especially reproduction, pituitary dysfunction, and insulin dysregulation. Ongoing research is specifically aimed at providing practical approaches to induce early cyclicity in mares, as well as understanding the underlying mechanisms of pituitary dysfunction in horses. In the Muscle Biology Laboratory, the researchers study the growth and development of skeletal muscle, adipose tissue, and the heart, and their pathological changes during disease states. The researchers in the DNA laboratory are constructing and testing multi-epitope DNA vaccines and unique delivery systems for hard-to-treat pathogens that affect domestic and foreign livestock.